I think the issue is, as Nick was trying to say, is the uh, you know the, the there are camps that are going to be held outside of evaluation and outside of recruiting periods, and coaches are going to be uh, confronted with them and working with them, and it really doesn't make as much sense as if you had it in the defined recruiting. Uh, time periods and if you don't then there better be there needs to be enforcement if you're going to enforce it and it's going to be very difficult to enforce if they're just camps everywhere so uh, he was just uh, I think would like to see something more manageable and more organized and, uh, and all of our coaches sort of felt that way. How, how surprised were you that, that Mitch Gaspard stepped down the other day? Uh, I, I, well, I don't know. I, I, uh, I was disappointed. Uh, Mitch is a good man, a good coach. Uh, I know he's had a lot of pressure. He uh, uh, hadn't had the success that he has wanted to, to have, and, and I think he felt like it was uh, – uh, for whatever reason, that it was going to be hard for him to turn it around, and I think he thought it was, you know, sometimes you can stay too long, and I think it was time maybe for a fresh start to do something else. But uh, I was most appreciative of the way Mitch approached it and handled it, and uh, we want to be good to him, and he wants to be good to Alabama, and we appreciate what he's done, and I appreciate the way that he handled his resignation and he wants to help us keep all the uh, signees that uh, we have and all the commits we have for 17. He thinks we have a really good uh, number but I think that he felt that uh, for whatever the reason that uh, he couldn't get it turned around and, and, the, and uh, so uh, sometimes it's, it's better to make a change. What's the timetable for hiring a new coach and what will what will be what you're look, What are you looking for? Well, what I, you know, what I'd like to have is somebody that's had good coaching experience and somebody that has had uh, recruiting experience in this part of the country. And, uh, we'd like to have somebody with an Alabama connection. All that's hard to find, and then we'll uh, get what we uh, what we can find. You know, when you're when you're hiring a head coach or you're hiring anybody in any position, you're limited to who's available who's interested in your job and who you can afford, who you can, uh, you know, who you can work out terms with. So we are, we have started that search. Uh, a lot of the people that we're looking at are still involved in their season, so it may be some time period before we can talk to them. And, uh, but we have a good list of, of people. We think they're a good pool of candidates available. There's a growing uh, list of schools looking for head coaches. I, I think uh, you know Texas is out there, and I think Kentucky is just uh, out there. There's Missouri. Yeah. Missouri's okay. Somebody mentioned Missouri. I know Mitch was one of the lowest paid coaches.